so you're interested in participating in Predict HD. To show us what a visit day is like, here's BJ. Hi, BJ. Hey. BJ travels the world getting young people involved in Huntington's disease advocacy and organizes the Twin Cities Hoopathon. And like other Predict HD participants, he realizes the importance of observational trials so we can learn about early HD and eventually find treatments and a cure for HD. Thanks, BJ. First, our HD research heroes arrive at their visit. You'll notice that the participant, BJ, isn't alone, but has come with his research companion, a friend from back home. In the PREDICT HD study, companions are important. We ask them questions to help gain insight into the lives of our participants. Say, BJ, how was your trip? My trip was great. I came from a long ways away, but PREDICT HD paid for my plane ticket. They also put me up in a hotel. I kind of feel special. All the participants in the PREDICT HD study are special. That's why we try to make it as easy as possible for them to take time out of their busy lives to participate in research. PREDICT HD pays for travel and lodging costs wherever possible. Say, so does it pay for lunch too? Yes, BJ, even meals. Good, because I'm hungry already. Here we see BJ and his companion learning more about the study from the study coordinator. The study coordinator is a participant's primary contact prior to and throughout the research visit. Participants should always feel free to ask their study coordinators any questions they may have. I'm not sure about this part right here. Why do you collect that information and what is it used for? Sure, let me tell you. Uh, this... Remember, your participation is voluntary, which is why we encourage asking questions. Ensuring that participants remain informed and comfortable with all visit procedures is a responsibility we take seriously in PREDICT HD. After you've had an opportunity to ask questions, you will sign an informed consent document before any research is done. This confirms that all your questions have been answered and you are comfortable participating. Man, I feel informed. Let's go get it. Sure thing, BJ. To begin, you will be asked to provide a sample of your blood and urine. Some of these samples will be used immediately, while others will be banked for use in ongoing and future research projects. So in a way, my participation doesn't just end after this visit. Researchers can use my data for years to come. That's a great way of looking at it, BJ. Say, did it hurt at all when they drew the blood? No, not really. It's no worse than getting a shot. And ladies dig band-aids. So what's next? Now you'll be asked to perform a number of thinking tasks some on paper and others on a computer. Several of the computer tasks may remind you of a video game. Yeah, I think I won that one. What's next? Next, you'll be asked to fill out questionnaires about your feelings, your daily activities, and many other aspects of your life. Your questions help the researchers learn as much as they can about you and identify similarities and differences between you and other study participants. Say, so, where's my companion during this time? Another good question, BJ. While you, the participant, are filling out questionnaires and performing thinking tasks, your companion is elsewhere also filling out questionnaires. Whew. Filling out those questionnaires sure does work up an appetite. When's lunch? How about right now? Lunch is provided during the visit day. You can even have dessert. Sweet, I love dessert. That's great, BJ. Eat up, because next is your MRI. In PREDICT HD, this picture is one of the most important pieces of data collected. Each participant is pre-screened to make sure it is safe for them to undergo an MRI administered by a trained technician. The MRI portion of the visit takes about an hour, and in many scanners, there's soothing music and images can be played. Okay, send me in. Looks like BJ had no trouble relaxing in that scanner, doesn't it? Wake up, BJ. It's time for the next portion of the visit. Now it's time for BJ to sit down with the study coordinator for a one-on-one -on -one interview. This is a conversation about what's been going on recently in BJ's life. If any questions make you feel uncomfortable, you can skip them. That's okay. If there's one thing I can do, it's talk about myself. What's next? Now it's time for the final part of the visit, where BJ will get a motor assessment. A motor assessment? I'm afraid I don't know much about cars. It's not that kind of motor assessment, BJ. In PREDICT HD, the motor assessment is an exam performed by an HD expert to assess movement for abnormalities. Participants are asked to tap their fingers together as fast as they can, stick their tongues out, walk heel toe, and stand on their heads. Really? <laughs> nah, just kidding. The tasks are all very simple and harmless. And with that, your visit day is complete. Done already? The day sure goes by fast. It sure does, BJ. Time to enjoy your trip home. With the visit now complete, 
Our research here is return home, knowing they made a significant contribution to HD research. It will be time for next year's visit before they know it. Consider joining the Predict HD study as a participant or by telling other HD families about the study. Together, we can make a difference in learning so much more about HD, and together, we can help find a cure. For more information, please visit our website, www.predicthd.net, or email us at predicthd at uiowa.edu.